everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be stylish. You may remember the video I did a year ago where I hired three different stylists to style me however they want, and I wore it out and about, and it pushed my anxiety to the absolute limits. So this time, I'm gonna hire those same exact stylists, but they'll have to style me based on my Pinterest board not sponsored by any of these brands. I'm so excited to see what the stylists do because honestly, I can't put an outfit together to save my life. So let's get into it. So just like last time, three different stylists. One is from a site called Wishy. The next is from Fiverr. And then we have one that I found on Instagram. We have the same rules for each stylist. They have to make two different outfits. They all have the same budget and they must work off my Pinterest board. So this is what all the stylists are gonna be referencing. So the outfits and style that I wear in videos is definitely the outfits that I feel comfortable wearing at home around nobody that I think are really pretty like colorful pastels, beautiful rainbow crochets, lots of fun necklaces. But to be honest, in my everyday life, I dress a little more like this. But I also think in my everyday life, if I'm going out and I have to dress nicely, I do stick to more neutral colors. So you might notice my Pinterest board is a little more neutral. It's so neutral as there's like this rainbow sweater. But yeah, so I feel like there's kind of a common theme here of turtlenecks. And honestly, I didn't really realize until this moment, but there's a lot of stripes. I love skirts because they're honestly more comfortable than jeans, but I do feel a little weird when I wear skirts. I don't know why, it's just a a leg for me. So I'm hoping this pushes me out of my comfort zone. I have a feeling I'm gonna get skirts. And then of course we have a crochet bag that looks like a waffle. I'm always open to things like that. So yeah, this is the Pinterest board that all of these stylists are going to be working off of. The last time we filmed this video, they had nothing to work off of with my inspo. They just had my face and they styled me how they saw fit. But this, now there's actually some guidelines. Just like last time, let's start with the wishy stylist. Now I actually set out to get the exact same stylus as last time, but she wasn't actually available on the site anymore, so I had to pick a different one. The rest of the stylus in this video are the exact same as the last video, but this is the only one that was different, unfortunately. So last time I had Christina, this time I got Lenya. I found Wishy just like on a simple Google search. It's basically a site that connects you with stylus virtually. They have a few package options. Last time I did the major, this time I'm doing the mini because I honestly only need one style board. Okay, so so oh, Lenya sent this. Hi Mia, I've crafted a style board inspired by your Pinterest favorites. Let me know what you think. Your feedback is always welcome. I'm not gonna give any feedback because the point of this video is to see what they put me in for my Pinterest board. So I have no feedback. And then it's all like shoppable to the side here. So both the outfit pieces have checkered like gingham in it, which I thought was really, really cool because I love checkered gingham. So I added everything into my cart. There was some pretty pricey pieces here. Like these shoes originally would have been $490. Hello? Okay, so here is outfit number one from Wishy. I have everything on, including accessories. These earrings really hurt to get in, but here they are. This is worlds cuter than how I would normally dress. I think that's pretty obvious. This is like cutesy, but yet businessy. I don't even know, like this definitely would belong on my Pinterest board. If I saw someone wearing this, I would pin it for sure. I feel a little afraid to be wearing it though. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> me already rethinking my decision. One thing that's kind of unfortunate is the skirt is actually way too big. I looked at the size chart for it and I ordered the proper size. I don't know if they shipped the wrong one, but this is not gonna work. And I actually specifically planned this video around when I'm going to New York because YouTube invited me to Creator Summit, which is so exciting. I'm so flattered and honored to be invited, but I was like, oh, that'll be perfect. I can wear fun outfits while I'm in New York, but this skirt's not gonna do. So I'm gonna put a black one on. Hopefully it doesn't wreck the outfit too much. The black is a little bit of a different vibe. I feel like it makes it a little bit more formal, but it's either the black skirt or my skirt is around my ankles and I'm flashing everyone. So we take what we can get. Let's take a look at option two. It's the exact same accessories and everything. It's just a different base. See, now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, it was supposed to be maybe the other bag and the big belt. But when I was first filming this and I bought everything, I thought it was just the outfit piece was interchangeable. Now I'm questioning. I mean, this is still looking cute, but I'm kind of now questioning, was it supposed to be like the other half? 
I do like this dress though, I will say that it's very comfortable. <laughs> I think I'm gonna mess this one up though. Because I think I messed up this one, I'm gonna wear the other one out and about. But I honestly do think this outfit is cute by itself. I think I like it. When I tried on this outfit in the studio, it wasn't making me as insecure as it was making me while I was getting ready in the hotel room. I really didn't want to wear this out. You guys, I'm feeling immense amounts of anxiety. I put this necklace on and I couldn't feel worse to be honest. You know when you're wearing an outfit that you're not really comfortable in and you just feel like you're being a public nuisance? I don't really know how to explain it unless you've experienced it, but that's how I'm feeling and I have to now put on a skirt, which is just stressing me out even more. So uh, this is gonna be interesting. I don't know what it was, cause it's such a cute and pretty outfit. And if I saw it on someone else, I would think it was so pretty and I wouldn't think it was risky or anything like that. But on myself, it just was out of my comfort zone. Also the fact that I was gonna be walking from the Manhattan area all the way to the Met through Central Park, I opted to swap from the heels to some flats. I hope you can understand. <laughs> Based on the fact that I've been wearing runners and my feet are hurting, I don't feel like I'm gonna make it too far in these. So I think I'll wear these off the start and then at dinner when I'm gonna be primarily sitting I'll put these on and I'm glad I did it to be honest because my feet were hurting in my comfortable shoes you guys want to know what I didn't think about with this outfit I didn't think about wearing sunblock it's hot the Sun is beating down on me through the buildings here I am walking down the street. As you can tell by my body language, I am nervous. I started to become more and more confident as I was wearing this outfit, as I was seeing other girls in similar things and they were confident and rocking it and they looked cute. So Sarah and I grabbed a bagel and then we headed into Central Park to eat it. And oh my goodness, I've never been to Central Park when it's this busy. It was so fun to see everybody running around, everybody playing in the park, all the dogs on walks. It was just really exciting to see Central Park being used so much. The last time I was in Central Park, it was raining. And then the time before that, it was like 15 years ago. Check it out. Photo evidence of the last time I was in Central Park. Well, not the last time. The last, last, last time. My mom insisted that we all get a photo in Central Park with I Love New York shirts. So being able to see it in all its glory was really exciting. So walking around was really fun. And the fact that the Met is just like kind of embedded in it is so cool too. So then we went into the Met and saw a bunch of exhibits. And I actually kind of really liked being in this outfit in the museum because if I wanted to take a photo, I was dressed nicely. That's kind of the pro of dressing nice. You're always picture ready. Usually I look pretty busted in photos. So this was exciting. Hold on a sec. That's so cool. I really like the basalt axe head. Yeah, me too. And then we went to Gaiogaku. One of my friends who used to live in New York told us about this restaurant and I'm obsessed. It turns out it's a chain and there's literally one in my city, but I didn't know that. So we went there and it was awesome. I cannot let this video go by without mentioning that this bag is reflective. Woo! Reflective! Cool! It really reminded me of, do you remember when people were being paparazzied with like reflective scarves? It's giving that. And then we actually went to the Harry Potter Broadway show. Harry Potter is like Stuart's favorite all-time childhood movie. I'm at the Harry Potter show. The next stylist is from Fiverr. So Fiverr is basically a site where you can hire out like freelancers and there's a lot of stylists available. I wanted to use the same one as last time. They did a great job last time. This is Roshni. Roshni actually commented on the last video and was like answering all of your questions in a very helpful way. So shout out to Roshni. So just like last time I had to fill out some questions. So for this specific trip, I was gonna be in New York. And so it was gonna be about 15 to 25 degrees Celsius. So I wanted to make sure that the outfits would be appropriate for that weather. And then there was a few preference areas. So I said about how I like long sleeve tops and I do like my clothes to be comfortable. And then I told Roshni about how I am shaped like a rectangle, which was great to say. And then just basically inputted all of my sizing and it was good to go. 
Okay, so this is what Roshni put together. Roshni does it in a really cool way because they give options for stuff. So it's not just like one look. It's like you could mix and match it a little, like see? Same items as above in different combinations. So basically like putting them all together in different ways. So the first look is definitely giving me like dark academia vibes. We've got the turtlenecks, which I love. The plaid, which I love. And then look number two has the colorful cardigan, which I love all three of these. And actually when I was buying the collection of stuff for this video, this bag is actually very sustainable, which I liked. Not everything's sustainable. And honestly, buying an entire thing like this, I would never normally do outside of this video because it was insane. I do think if I was doing this outside of a video, I would get a thing like this and maybe buy, you know, the statement sweater and then be able to use my closet for the rest of it. For instance, I have dark jeans, I have a off the shoulder bag and I have black shoes. So you could really put it together yourself which is cool, but for the sake of the video, I stuck to it. Ooh, this is very dark academia. I don't know if that was on purpose, but like this is literally, if you search dark academia on Pinterest, I swear this video will come up. I'm not trying to toot my own horn because I didn't design it. I'm tooting Roshni's dark academia horn. This sounds weird. Anyways, let's keep going. Yet another skirt that I bought in the wrong size. I swear I checked the size chart, but this one's not as bad. I could just put a belt on. This one has a jacket option. So let me put that on. Ooh, that's cute. I thought the jacket might wreck it, but it actually is really adorable. Also, this bag wouldn't ship to Canada. Do you know how hard it was to get my hands on this? Harder than I'd like to admit. What's in here? Hello. It's like a little origami envelope situation on the front. It's very cute. And I like the coloring of it with the navy. I also love this skirt. It feels very kind of like edgy punk, but cute business. I don't know. I like it. And these shoes, these shoes are, <laughs> these shoes are so slippery. The, <laughs> they have no grip. That's okay. Also unrelated, but I want to give a shout out to Mango for having the absolute worst tights I've ever worn in my entire life. Because I literally put these on, I have no nails right now, and a big giant rip just happened down them. I haven't even worn them yet. So shout out to you, Mango. I gotta admit, this is definitely very out of my comfort zone, but it is a style that I think is so pretty. It like feels classy to me and put together, but yet fun and exciting. Hey, come on, have I ever honestly looked more put together? Probably not. And it's even nice with the jacket off. I mean, who doesn't love a turtleneck, right? Now I know this isn't like a competition between stylists, but I gotta give credit where credit's due. Roshni's killing it. I love this outfit. It's been a minute since I've worn a pair of jeans that are actually genuinely comfortable, but I can honestly say these jeans are so soft and comfy. I'm loving it. And this top, this top is definitely a statement, but I really like the colors and the brightness to it. And because the rest of the outfit is pretty casual, I don't mind having the bright pop here. And I love this bag. And something about wearing kind of a casual outfit, but wearing earrings makes me feel like I'm really doing something so I like that and it's also very different from the last outfit so it shows like a lot of range with this stylist cool here's my outfit there's the shirt I wore on the airplane and I spilled subway sauce all over it so i washed it in the shower with me i don't know how long these earrings are gonna stay on i just put in one to see and my ear immediately went super red which is not out of the ordinary for me but i just don't know how long i can put up with it i'm putting makeup on my ear to try to disguise the pain so people aren't concerned for me I'm getting concealer all over everything oh my goodness guys the last thing i feel like doing right now is walking around in those shoes if i was smart i would have broken in the shoes, but <laughs> I didn't, so that was good thinking by me. So at this point, we're actually in Brooklyn because Creator Summit was in Brooklyn. So we walked to the Brooklyn Bridge, but before that we needed to get breakfast, of course. I had like a sage egg sandwich. I've never thought to put sage in something. While wearing this outfit, I did kind of feel like everyone around me was wearing neutrals and I was just like, <laughs> 
rainbow shirt. Like I felt like people were looking at my sweater, which I'm not mad about by any means. I just noticed it. Usually when I'm dressing to go out of the house, I try to fade in with the background. I was okay with standing out in this sweater. I think it's very pretty. You guys, should I offer to join in? Do you think they'd need me? Oh, what is this? This day was all about the Brooklyn Bridge, I swear. We like saw the Brooklyn Bridge from far away and then we saw it from up close and then we were on it and then we saw it from the other side. <laughs> so much Brooklyn Bridge. Looking up the Brooklyn Bridge, if it's safe to walk on it because it's so old. These are the things that I have to do to torment myself. And it said that it's decent. What is that supposed to mean? Like, what is that supposed to mean? Say it's safe. A few moments later. Can confirm it's <laughs> built decently. Which it's really cool to be able to walk on it and to go in the neighborhood that's called Dumbo like underneath the bridge. I ended up having like the best cookie I've ever had in my entire life in Dumbo, which by the way, I love the name Dumbo. And then since we were on the other side of the Brooklyn Bridge, we decided to venture into like the Wall Street area. And then I got to see the giant bowl. American culture at its finest. <laughs> Financial prosperity for life. And then the best way to top a day off is with ramen. Guys, this is my first time utilizing my broken finger. So just don't laugh at me if I can't do it. How's the finger? It hurts. Is it good? New York food is the best. I don't want to spoil anything, but I would say out of the bundle, this is the outfit I felt the most comfortable in. Because at the end of the day, it's like jeans and a sweater. Pretty casual. And lastly, I called upon Sarah from Instagram again. I love every single outfit Sarah wears. Seriously, if we could just make a Pinterest board of all of their outfits, that could work too. And I think their take on styling is really cool because they mainly thrift all of the pieces. For my box, it's all 100% thrifted, which I just think is really cool to have that like sustainable spin to being a stylist. And in my last video, a top comment was getting the stylist to style me based on my closet so it could be completely sustainable, which I'm working on that. Okay, so this is what Sarah got back to me. Mood board. These are them. Okay, so just flipping through this, Sarah actually made quite a few outfits. So just to keep it fair, I'm just gonna pick two of them. So we'll go for this one. So you can add accessories for cold weather, like thermal leggings under the dress, the earmuffs, the jacket. But the main pieces is the bag, the sweater, and that skirt. And that is very cute. And I would never be able to put that together. Not a million years in a million years. And then we have this outfit, which it says, also you can opt for a denim vest as well. So this vest and then the skirt. I like that skirt. I like that Sarah found different photos that was inspired by my Pinterest board. Cause honestly, I would pin those for sure. I fear in this moment, you're seeing how my style usually looks, but it's true. Okay. So first we have these. Some sunglasses. Ooh, I love green. Chunky white turtleneck. I love big long skirts. I've gotten really into them. They're just so comfortable. That's cute. Another cream turtleneck. Whoa, this is kind of oversized. I think that's on purpose though. The Phoebe Buffet cardigan. Sweater with red lines. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Another turtleneck. Best. These denim pants are seemingly pretty big for me. They're Harley Davidson. Why is literally everything so soft? Sweater vest, belt, little hanky of sorts. And then this. Oh, so this is fur in that photo. The skirt comes out the bottom, but it's a dress. Okay, I literally love everything. I think I might be just making these videos as an excuse to get Sarah to shop for me. Okay. First of all, I actually had my filas in a donate bin. I was gonna get rid of them. I discovered that one of my feet is actually like a whole size bigger than the other one. So this foot's been being crushed in my shoe and this one has like lots of room. And so I actually, after, I think I've had these for over 10 years and I love them, I was gonna donate them. But then I'm glad I didn't get rid of them yet because I needed them for this video. This whole concept of wearing a full on dress underneath the sweater. I'm obsessed with the idea because you have this big long flowy dress that can't fly up because it's so long. And then this nice chunky sweater on top for warmth. If I found this sweater at a thrift store, I would have jumped for joy. This is 
This is a find and a half, okay? Here's outfit option number two. Also, Sarah gave the option to swap out this vest, this oversized kind of corduroy vest for a denim vest, which wasn't in the bin, but I have one. So this is the little adjustment. I do kind of like the denim one more. I'm gonna bring both just in case. If you do not have a big billowy skirt, they are plentiful at the thrift store. I would honestly go to a thrift store and just try one out. Wear it with like a little t-shirt or a sweater. It unlocks levels of comfort yet feeling put together that cannot be matched. And I feel like Sarah did a really good job channeling the Pinterest board. Good morning. I'm a little concerned because at first I was like, perfect, this is gonna be great for New York, but it's actually 25 degrees and the sun is shining, which is great. Usually I would never complain about that, but this is gonna be a little hot. It's time to decide because Sarah told me I could wear this one or a denim vest. Here's the denim vest or this one, which is a little bit more baggy which I like that too. I don't know which one's better. Sir, do you have a preference? I think the denim's cuter. I kind of agree. I like the denim and Sir said I was allowed. So here we go. I'm hitting the town. I felt very comfortable in this outfit. The only thing that was making me uncomfortable was the fact that it was really hot out and I was layered up. But that's not Sarah's fault and that's not Pinterest's fault. I ingested so many bagels while in New York. Now as I sit here back in Canada, if I could go back and get this bagel, it was garlic and herb cream cheese with an onion bagel. It made my breath horrible the entire day, but I would do it again in a heartbeat because it was so tasty. I'm regretting my choice eat garlic herb cream cheese with an onion bagel as the first thing in the morning. I can smell it on me. I feel like everybody in this room can smell it on me. Not related to the outfit at all, but so good. So today the plan for this outfit was we were gonna head from Hell's Kitchen to the High Line and the Chelsea Market, and then we had dinner in the Lower East Side, and then we were going to the Big Gay Jamboree. So fun! It was such a beautiful day out. I honestly was really thankful to not have full pants on. Having a skirt where the wind could just like fly up, it cooled me off. And I never knew that the NYPD had these little smart car vehicles. They're so cute. When did New York start doing these? I love them. The High Line is such a beautiful walk. It honestly feels like you're not even in New York. It's like so much beautiful greenery. And I also kind of enjoy seeing everybody's apartment. I can't believe that every apartment building has someone living in it. It's just crazy because it feels like a movie. It's like to me, if you live in New York, your life is a movie. That's how I feel. And you know what's kind of interesting about this outfit? A few places I went, people were kind of implying that I might be local, which never happens to me, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. This was like a wine bar that I had sussed out. It's called Le Vu, I think, and they have fondue, which fondue is like my all-time favorite meal. And they have this one little gondola ride that's available, and because we were eating so early, we were able to use the gondola, so that was exciting. This has basically just become a vlog of my trip in New York, but I hope you're enjoying it. And the last thing this outfit saw was the Big Gay Jamboree, which, I was definitely not the most fashionable person there. I was trying, but you simply cannot compete. Okay, so that has been hiring three different stylists to style me based on my Pinterest board and then wearing it out in public. I don't know why I'm doing this. Threatening you? I don't know why, sorry, I apologize. The NYPD will take me away in their little smart car. This was really interesting to see their interpretation of the Pinterest board, especially coming from the video we did a year ago where we just let these stylists kind of go crazy with whatever they wanted to put me in. I definitely feel like these outfits are more dialed in on my personal style, which makes sense. So in tune, I felt more comfortable in them. Not to say I didn't feel uncomfortable at any moment, cause you know I did. And now I think the only rock that we must unturn is the top comment from the last video where we let these stylists style me based on my clock. So I'm gonna get working on that. I want to hear from you guys which outfit was your favorite So make sure to comment down below which one you liked the most and if you like this video Make sure to click the subscribe button as always. It's been an honor and a privilege spending this time together Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye